there to all you folks from north to south and east to west. This is your old friend, Allo Spencer. All right. Nice to see you. Mm -hmm, for sure. You see, I want to tell you about this problem we've got with young Poldy the Dragon. He's, um, well, he acts like he's kind of sad most of the time. And that's because he's the only dragon in the village, you see, and he's lonely. And the problem with that is that the only thing that'll make him feel better is to eat everything in sight, including well, us. what are you going to do about it? Well, now, it seems oh. to me that the first thing to do is to check yeah. up on Poldy and see what he's doing. Oh, oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Well, I'll feel a whole lot better after I eat up the whole village. Or else, I could go talk to Lulu. She knows how to make things feel better when I'm feeling real bad. <laughs> I feel terrible. Can you help me? Huh? Well, for goodness sake, I'll certainly chew right. It gets awful lonely being the only dragon in a village full of people. You go to dragon school, don't you? Why don't you bring some of your friends home with you? Because they're all so scared, that's why. Scared? Of what, Poldy? They're scared of visiting a place where there are only people and no dragons. Oh, fiddly do you live here and you're not scared. Well, yeah. That's true. So you're a lot braver than they are. Yeah. Maybe. And a lot lonelier. Oh, poor Poldy. Mm-hmm. Well, I'll be going now. Why are you going out the back door? I think I'm going to go the long way around. Then I won't see anyone. I just don't feel like talking to anyone right now. I've got some thinking to do. Oh, of course, I understand. Oh, oh, oh. You see, mm-hmm. Sorry. What I wanted to ask you was... Don't mean to be rude, Elmer, but I gotta make a phone call. Hello? Hi, guys. This is Hello. Now, listen. There's someone who lives right here in the village that's got a big problem. And it's up to us to solve it for him. Right, Elmer? Mm-hmm. It's Poldy, y'all. He needs a friend awful bad. Ah, oh, come uh, on, Lulu. You gotta be joking. He needs a friend, and that's the truth, Frankie. A dragon friend? Where could we find one? In China. Yes. Uh -huh. Unfortunately, China's on the other side of the world. <laughs> How could we persuade a dragon to come here all the way from China? Yeah. We don't need to persuade anyone. Since we need a dragon, we'll build uh, one ourselves. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And just how do you expect us to do that? You mean, yeah. like a statue? Yeah, well, no, not exactly. It's made of what? Like Metal, stone, or plaster? Out of paper. What? what? Mm. But I've never made anything out of paper. We did once. Those Christmas cards. But that's not like making a whole dragon. I wonder. Elmer, yeah? you have so many films in your library. Oh. Uh, might you have oh. one on a Chinese New Year celebration? As a matter of fact, I believe I do. Chinese New Year celebration, huh? Let's see now. Listen, yeah. I think everyone should get over here right away. All but right. don't let Poldy know what Hi. you're doing. We'll see be ya. Before you know it. Elmer, have you found that film yet? I'll have it up in a couple of seconds, Hallow. Hey, that's great, Elmer. Just great. Hello, Hallow. Hiya. Hey, guys. I was talking about yes, sir. Now we're cooking. Great, great idea, Lexi. Thank you. Quiet you. down, guys. Pay close attention here, and you'll see the kind of dragon we're going to make as a friend for Poldy. Splendid. Now, wait just a minute. That's not a dragon. That's a tennis player. I adore tennis players. They're so handsome. We're wasting time. Where's the dragon? Just keep watching. We'll see it any second now. Well, we better. Oh, my. Oh, my goodness. Oh, yes, sir. Oh, those people. Hey, I don't think we can build a dragon. Oh, that's yeah. going yeah. even breathe yeah. fire, too. Ooh. I'll bet you can it's see very it. very oh, long, isn't it? That's amazing. Yeah, it's really I something. Imagine right. that. Now, quiet down, everybody. Quiet down. We've got to come up with a plan and get to work. Twins, you hear? Right here. I think you can make the dragon, don't you? Are we all by ourselves? Everybody in the village will have to help. Uh, well, in that case, I guess we'll all have to lend a hand and build yeah, it together. Yeah, I happen to have instructions. Huh? Yeah? I believe they're in my lexipedia. Hey. Right on. Oh, Fantastic. Mm -hmm. Make sure everyone gets a copy, all right? Good idea. Some fun, huh? Yeah. Listen, y'all, the sooner we get started, the better. Otherwise, Poldy might get hungry again. Now, Lexi. Yeah? You're going to make our dragon talk. Me? Mm-hmm. It'll speak? 
with of my course. voice? That's right. You know more said. Chinese than any of us do, right? It's true. All right, everybody, let's get going. We got a lot of work to do, you know. And be sure not to let Boldy see what you're doing. Hey, Scrooge Boys, wait a sec. Hold on. Uh, since you guys are such good musicians, I want you to write me a dragon song. So we do huh? that instead? Instead? Of building the dragon. Of course not. Yeah, I figured as much. Oh, so, huh? what's their write problem? The song, we gotta <laughs> build the dragon. Now I gotta find some paper so I can scale. write that letter. Let's see here. Where did I put that? There comes a time for everyone when we're alone and like no fun. No fun! If others took the time to care, it wouldn't be so hard to bear. Sometimes a simple thing will do. Uh -huh. A friend who'll just be there for you to make you smile. I gotta write that letter for Poldy. That's the only way I can convince him that his friend's coming from China. Paper, I need paper. There, I think that should do it. Perhaps we ought to have a look at these instructions again. Good idea. Naturally. What are we supposed let's to do Let's have a look, next? shall we? Well, now, let's see. Dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, I'm so hungry that even that whole school of miracles didn't fill me up. Yes, that's right. <gasps> you see, we've got to cut it here and here and then glue it all together. I see. That's simple enough. Huh? I wonder what they're doing. Whatever it is, it sure looks like fun. I'll just go and see what they're up to. Oh, uh, very nice. Uh, what you doing? Uh, uh, what are we doing? Uh, oh, nothing. We're just, uh, well, well, it's kind of fun. It's just, uh, uh, go on, let's see. You explain it to him. Uh, uh, right. Uh, never fear. I'll take care of everything. <laughs> oh. Hi, Poldy. Oh. Come on, it, Lexi. I know what I've not wanted. I'm gonna go home. Please don't take it personally. You see, we're working on a very special project. Don't take it personally. No one ever wants me hanging around, and you know it. Holy, that's because people are afraid of you. What are they afraid of? Well, they're afraid you might suddenly get hungry and eat them up. Well, everyone gets hungry once in a while. Of course. Good point. Thanks. Which reminds me, I have a tennis date this afternoon. You, Bye. Lexi. Bye now. Oh, geez, sometimes it's hard being a dragon. You know, it just isn't fair. It's not our fault we're hungry. Excuse me, I gotta find someone to eat. Hmm? Hi, Poldy. Hello. Look, I know you're hungry, but I thought you might want to come down here and check out your mail before you find someone to eat. A letter? I got a letter? You sure did, and it came all the way from China. <laughs> wow, we all the way from China? Thanks, Hollow. I'll be right there. Uh-huh. All right. Oh, gee whiz, huh? I've never got a letter from China before. See ya. I hope he doesn't get here too soon. I still have to write the darn thing. Naturally, he'll ask Galactica to translate it, and I've told her just what to say. Where is it? Right here. There you go, Paul. Oh, look at all these chicken scratches. Ah, those aren't chicken scratches. That's what Chinese looks like when it's written out. Well, that's just great. I can barely read English, and now I get a letter in Chinese. Uh, well, uh... How'd you even know who the letter was for? Your name is on it. Oh, luckily that part was written in English. L-D-I. Yeah, I can read that, but I can't read the rest. Talk oh, about bad luck. Shame. I got a letter here, and I can't even read it. Pity. Well, there's only one thing to do. Uh, know anyone who can read Chinese? I, um, huh? Well, uh, there's always Galactica. Uh -huh. She knows every language the in the world. Of Star Andromeda, I'm calling you Galactica. Uh. There's a letter I've received I need to read now. And you're the only one that seems to know how. Galactica.
Galáctica. Galáctica. Ah, she's here. Tell you what, I'll call her on my special line. Wait, the round is making me hungry. All right, all right. One second. Hurry it up, will you? It's ah, nice to hello. see you, my friends. I understand you wanted to see me, Poldy. I'm over at your crater. Goody, goody, I'll be right there. See you later. <laughs> Callie, yes? you remember what to say? Yes, Hallow. Now, don't worry. I'll take care of everything. Look, Callie, I got a letter. Can you tell me what it says? I believe so. Let me get closer and I'll have a look. Pretty good, huh? Looks like the plan is working out just fine. After Galactica does her part, we'll do the rest. Mm -hmm. And then what? I'm writing to you uh -huh. because I'll be visiting your country very soon. Goody, goody, goody. Does he say when I'll get here? According to that date, he should be here, why, this very afternoon. Goody, goody, goody. That's wonderful. Well, let's see how the rest of the plan's coming along. Hope this thing fits in the elevator. Oh. oh, my goodness gracious. Now, to Grandpa's house. Cousin. You bet. How about you? Sure, absolutely. Great. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, dear. It's so uncomfortable. Watch out. This way. Grumpo, hurry up. How many times do I have to tell you the name's Grumpowski? Looks like everything is coming together. This is going to be one great dragon, folks. Hello, Hollow. Hey, Grumpo, we just got to the studio. It's about time. <laughs> You're right on time, you guys. I think it's time for me to get in line now. Let's get this over oh, with. Goodness! I just thought of something. I wonder uh -huh. what'll happen if Poldy finds out it's all a trick. He just might get very hungry. Cause he does. I, I wouldn't worry huh? about it. Mm -hmm. All we gotta do is move to China. No problem. You know, you guys worry too much. Everything's gonna work out just fine. Now let's go. We're getting this dragon together and taking it on the road. Dragon right. Here uh, you go. Uh, now. Uh, 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 Gee, I hope he stays for a while. First, I'll cook him a good dinner. What do you think, Allie? Should I cook American or Chinese? Hmm. I think American. He wants to experience new things, and he can always eat Chinese food at home. Just wait till he tastes my hot dogs. He'll love them. We must tough push me, please. That was my friend. I can only go so fast. <laughs> Not on wheels, you know. I'm a good mission. Just a little bit higher, and I think we've got it. There, that's it. And just in time, too. Maybe to go, Elma? Of course, already. We'll join in at the end. Say, not bad. Not bad at all. Stay together, everyone. That's it. Next stop is the twins' house. Ah, here it is. Found the pepper. Dragons like their hot dogs very uh, hot. Yes, of course. Well, I can see you're busy, so I'll be going now. Please stay. I need you to translate what he says. But, Poldy... I can't speak Chinese. What? But this letter's in Chinese and you knew how to read it. Yes. You see, I can read Chinese, but I can't speak huh? it. That's all right. Talking isn't important. We'll eat and play together. That's a language that everyone understands. Hmm. That's true. And what's his name again? It's in the letter. Don't you remember? Uh, well, uh, yes, of course. It's, let me see, uh, Pong Ding Chan, right? Wrong. His name is Dong Ping Chan. Dong Bing Chan. You got that? Mm-hmm. That's far enough, hey, everyone. Mona, oh, Lisa, are you ready? We're all set. It's time to pin the tail on this dragon. Let's get this show on the road. No, as fast as we can, can Grumpo. That's a fun. Look at that. All right, yeah. if everybody's ready, uh -huh. it's showtime. Uh -huh. Let's hit it. But remember, everybody, in order for this to work, nobody can speak a word except for Lexi. So no matter what happens, don't say anything. Commencing final dragon countdown. Three, two, one, let's go. Oh, my God. Quietly, everyone. Hmm. Why are you so sad, Poldy? My friend should have been here already. Here they come now. Hey, he brought friends? Dearie me, I mean, he's coming. Yes, there he is. Is he close? He's already here. He's here. <laughs> wow. Is he big? Look how long he is. Poldy. Why don't you try talking Amazing. to him? He doesn't I speak English. I think he'll understand you. I'm uh, really very happy to meet you. Good. 
Um, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Poldy. Very good. Hi. Excellent. Wow. You must eat a lot. Dong, uh, ding. Yeah. Now listen carefully, Dong Ting Chan. I got something to say. I welcome you very, very much to our country, and I'll do everything I can so you have a very, very goody good time while you're here and want to stay here forever and ever and ever. And never, never, never go back to China so we can play together every day, every day. Right, right. There's no doubt about it. I agree completely. Now, let's cut out all this fooling around and eat some dinner. Now, open wide and have a taste of this. Ah. Really glad you like it. There you are. Yeah. Um, um, hey, um, take um, it easy, um, will you? There's plenty um, more where that um, came from. Now be sure to save a little room, just in case you want to eat some villagers later on. <laughs> they don't have a lot of meat on them, but they ought to be pretty tasty. Hey, why does he get it all? Yeah, I don't think it's fair. Believe me, you're welcome to it. If Lexi eats anymore, he's going to explode. Wait, now let me see here. Wait, 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 wait. Ah, here's another one. Lexi's going to have to go on a diet. Oh, I just okay. knew you'd love my hot dogs. Come on, now we'll go and visit the villagers. Well, well, this is turning out to be even more fun than I thought it would, Dong Ting Chan. Dong Ting. Here we are at the village. This is where the people live. Your friend seems very nice, Poldy. Yep, we're getting along just fine. I knew you would. Me too. Look at him go. Let me show you around the village, Dong Fing. Now right over here is Kazi's house. Believe it or not, he's got his own elevator. Honest. If you want to eat him, go ahead, but I'm still full. Show him some more of the village. Good idea. I'll take him over to Grumpo's house. That's Grumpowski, you stupid dragon. Grumpo's word for hello is rats of rats. Oh well, I suppose he's not home. Say, are you a flying dragon? Uh, 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 uh. Well. I was just wondering. Someone once told me Chinese dragons can fly. Hmm? I guess we're calling you Galactica to lift us up and not let us fall. We hope you'll help us fly into the sky now and show Poldy how a dragon really flies now. Hey! Boy, oh boy! Fair. That's yes. a flyer. I think that should do. Wish I knew how. Hey, maybe he gives lessons. Gee, he sure has a lot of legs. Your friend is very talented, Poldy. Looks like you're getting along just fine. Bye. Bye-bye. Wow. Do you think you could teach me how to fly? I'd love that. Dong ding. Now, the next place we're going to visit is the most interesting place in the whole village. Hollow Spencer Studio. Ah, Song Luk Gai Fong. All right, absolutely. Oh, my aching feet. Well, here we are. This is the studio. Hey, there's no one here either. Where is everyone? Uh, Hong Luk Wan Tong Dong Ki. Hey, that's a fact. We're coming apart here. Slow down, Lexi. Wow, that was a close one. Chiang Shung, Ding Dong. Mm hmm. Ah. I'm getting hungry too. Let's go find somebody. So fast. Oh, 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 Uh, you guys were the dragon? <laughs> yeah, afraid so. Sorry, Poldy. We did it to make you feel better, that's all. Hey, wait a second. Does that mean my friend won't be leaving after all? He'll be right here. Dong ding. Dong ding? Goody, goody, goody! We did it! <laughs> You're getting up here again! Because I've learned my true friend is really all of you. Sure! Well, folks, we're running out of time, so let's wrap it up. For Poldy was sad and feeling low, and he went to Lulu and said, Oh, 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 Lulu, 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 what can I do? I don't have any dragon friends. Boo-hoo-hoo! -hoo. So we 
all gathered to help as good friends should to try and find a way to make Poldy feel good. Then Elmer showed us something that we'd never seen when he punched up a paper dragon on his computer screen. And Lexi had a plan, though he wasn't bragging, so that everyone could pitch in and build this paper dragon. We'd each make a piece, and then one by one, we'd put it all together till it was done. Now Galactica agreed to be part of the plan by giving Poldy a letter from a dragon named Chan and said that he'd be here to visit him before day's end. And there was nothing he'd like better than to be Poldy's friend. Well, they played and they frolicked and they had quite a feast before Poldy found out that it was just a paper beast. But it really didn't matter, because in the end, the most important thing was that we were all Poldy's hey, friends. let's play right now! Anything you say, Poldy. Come on, gang. It's better than being eaten. Stomping Chad is back! Let's go! Oh, <laughs> 